Uh, we use everything but red. There's very little red in the entire movie, except when Jake yeah, gets ground up in the cellar by Henrietta. And, and, and when all the walls bleed, it's black, and then it's sort of red. But uh, we, we had to tailor some stuff, because we thought it was going to be an R. So there's some, there's some body part shots that we took out. Yeah. Any more plate scenes? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Actually, there's going to be a. I think there's going to be a Ash's sort of alter ego in part three. So you know, it's a good, good Jim Kirk, bad Jim Kirk, that sort of thing. You know? Yeah. From the Evil Dead's. Probably, probably those fashion plates over my head is pretty fun. Yeah. Just because it gets a pretty good response. Like it, he just pops up. No need to apologize for me. No. 
silly moment. Uh, if uh, Lugosi had been less than the shrewd actor he was, he could have uh, he could have had the screenwriters like him along the line. He could have some, said something like, uh, "Children of the Night, uh, what music they make." It isn't Beethoven, it isn't Madonna, but still, it's not. The party constitution. Carlos, in The Bride of Frankenstein in 1934, he hadn't had a word to say in Frankenstein, but uh, in the second one, they wrote in just a couple of words. Remember the, the scene in the woods where he, he stumbled into the hut of the old hermit? And the old blind old hermit gave him something to eat. And the monster, as I recall, said, Oh! Oh. Well, no, it isn't generally known that actually the screenwriters have written a much longer line. They had Carlos say, uh, oh, oh, maybe just a pinch more oregano. <laughs> you know what I like this dish? You ever tried the cat in the fiddle and Sausalito? <laughs> Carlos would never have gone for such silliness. Only I would go for such silliness. And I said, uh, enough words up here to see the tall man through his next ten pictures. <laughs> well, Tony and Adam said you might, uh, you might have some questions for me. Uh, if I were sitting out there, I can't imagine what I would ask me, but... Uh, the tall man actually uh, is not wearing his tall shoes today. Uh, when I was about 16, I was 6'4", but my shrinks. And I'm down to about 6'2", now, and uh, still can't make me. <laughs> yes. Costarelli asked me not to talk. Uh, I think it's the great fact that he asked me not to talk about it indicates that he has something wrong. But there's no scripture. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put these on so I can see who's raising hands. What has been the most memorable time for you doing Fantasm 2? What was the one that was? Fantasm 2? It will be impossible for me as long as I live ever to forget. Well, you're all savvy, you, you know what the makeup process is, but those of you who saw the picture remember that, uh, that uh, towards the end of the picture, uh, Reggie and, 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 and uh, Paula stab a patrol car into, into the tall man, fill him with a mauling fluid, and he erupts him from inside, yellow blood. Uh, Mark Schuster was the special effects man who was in charge of that along with Greg Nicotero and Bob Kurtzman and uh, their whole staff. My, my most memorable moment was going in at three, by uh, getting up at like three or 3.30 in the morning, driving out to the studio, getting in the chair at 4.30, sitting there till 10.30, while Mark Shostrom applied first the appliances, then the makeup, and Mark is an artiste, he's an innovator. He also applied jello, and apple juice, and mayonnaise, and yogurt, and I don't know how many other things. Then he would send an assistant out to a supermarket who came back with zaki for a chicken. They would peel the chicken skin off and apply it to the neck. Well, by five o'clock, chicken skin under those lights, the crew would all start to sort of go. <laughs> um, and then uh, for the actual eruption of the, uh, the blood, they used cream and apple juice and yellow food coloring. And, and of course, the tubes were put under my neck. And then the proper moment, they were the, the stuff that squirted out. Well, we did take after take after take of that. And uh, first, my top would be soaked. And then, we go on down to my pants and my shorts and then run down my legs. <laughs> I leave you to imagine what that felt like. <laughs>